Justin Timberlake's family is allegedly in chaos after Britney Spears' bombshells. Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph, the alternative, the alternative, the alternative joined with Andy this afternoon. Hey up, Andy. Oh my goodness. Hey. This is karma and a half, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, we were speculating on this. And again, let's be very clear. This is all speculation. These are sources from sources. Like, so we don't really know, but we got to sort of then guess what, what, how realistic does this sound? And I'm going to be honest, Steph, from my own opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, this feels pretty spot on. So guys, here's the report coming in. Uh, this was coming sources through the mirror and the sun. These are more tabloidy. So take that as you will. Uh, but... Sources have now revealed to them that the admission couldn't have come at a worse time for Justin, who was prepping to make his musical comeback. And yes, apparently this new bombshell, the, the pregnancy and the termination, has thrown his family into chaos. Here's more from the quote. Justin owns who he was uh, when he, he and Brittany were together, even though his personality, career, lifestyle, and personal priorities are radically different now, 20 years later. This book is a nightmare for him because of how it throws the whole family into chaos. The timing stings just as much as the revelation itself. Why does it sting? Well, uh, Justin had a big fall plan with new music on deck, more work with his old friends in sync, and of course, the next installment of the Trolls franchise, which has been a huge moneymaker for Justin over the last several years. Uh, source continues to admit that it's unclear whether Justin told his wife Jessica Beal about the abortion from his previous relationship. They said, I have no idea if that was something he ever told Jessica. And because Justin's relationship with Brittany is not something he discusses with his friends. I mean, one would hope if he has a real relationship with Jessica, mother of his kid now, right? They have kids, right? Steph. Now mm -hmm. um, you'd think that would have come up. Um, and so for her to find this out through the press would definitely not be a good look. That's why you want to tell your partner everything. Um, so that's what the report came out. And, and look, Steph, I got to be honest, that doesn't surprise me. Now, Entertainment Tonight has come forward with their own sources, sort of something different. And honestly, this seems believable too. This seems like something Justin and his teams would say in reaction to the truth coming out that it's all in chaos. Uh, but it says he's focusing on his family, revelations about Britney coming out. He says uh, he's been um, he's trying not to concern himself with Britney's memoir. Of course he's not. In recent years, Justin has tried to be supportive of Britney from a distance. They dated so long ago, but he still has respect for her. Justin and Jessica just want everyone to grow and evolve instead of continually continuing to bring up the past. Well, how convenient for Justin, right? I don't think Britney's ever continued to bring up the past. This is the one time she's doing it, pal. So you don't get to already be annoyed or play as if this is a problem that she's been doing ongoing, you jerk. This is something she's held in with ever. And you were very vocal about, you know, knocking her down, playing her as the SLUT, that you were so heartbroken by it all. So I can see why you wanted this all to be secret and more on that in a second. But come on, pal, you don't get to suddenly play like, why is this coming out? Can't we all just move on and evolve and grow? No, Brittany has her time now to speak and we will listen to the queen. Right, Steph? Right, and here are a couple of examples. I mean, the most famous one was when he was on that radio show and admitted that they had slept together. Uh, then 2006, interviewed by Barbara Walters, he burst out laughing when um, she asked if Britney had kept her promise to wait until marriage. He also confirmed the obvious in terms of his song Crimea River that it was inspired by Britney allegedly cheating on him, saying, when we initially parted ways, I felt like she had a couple of opportunities to just sort of stick up for me and she didn't which is fine but at that time you know I fought back I used my mind I came up with a song now this is a few years after they had broken up and he dredged it all up again here's another one uh saturday night live um there was a 2009 sketch where timberlake and andy samberg played immigrant ancestors moving to america uh and timberlake's character imagined the bright future of his descendant which was himself so it was a bit meta here saying he'll date a popular female singer publicly they'll claim to be the v cards but privately he hit it and then cue the laughter. It's like, you know, 
he was continually bringing up Britney Spears time and time again throughout his career to make him look good and the one time that Britney starts to speak out and say exactly what happened he then turns around and says you know what I'm focusing on my family I wish we could all move on the hypocrisy of this dude is absolutely outstanding <laughs> and this i can definitely believe as well because reports are also coming in andy that justin thought that he and britney would keep their mouth shut about this termination forever that it would never have been uh out in the first place right yeah i mean i can see that he doesn't really have a right to make that request uh but yeah he's planning to not avoid I, I, look here's the thing at this point, he's fucked, right? <laughs> Pardon my French. He's got to address it, just like he did the last time when he apologized. But I, I could see him waiting for the book to come out to confirm it all and respond. But I think if Justin doesn't publicly respond to the book within you know, the first week or so of its release, then shame on him. Because he's got to sort of, at this point, own it and, and apologize again, specifically to her, not to Janet this time, not a group of you know group apology a mass text he needs to do a specific private and public acknowledgement of his past and then he wants to, and then he can say listen and whether you accept it or not i don't like that i did this she's right i confirm this and i don't want not to dredge it up but to respect her and hopefully help her in her healing and i wish her the best and you know there it's just that then it's addressed and then you can request to move on you know what i mean until you take that accountability for it we're not going to move on, bro. That's just not how it works. So um, I totally believe this. He's aware of his past treatment uh, would come back to haunt him. So he's planning to stay silent in the, f in the face of the expose. Yeah, Justin thought that the decision they made was a decision they made together, and he intended to never talk about it, uh, and that he thought it would be kept secret forever. Now that Brittany has mentioned it, it will live forever in her book. Whatever else she decides to mention, Justin is going to try not to say anything about it because he knows whatever he says from this point will likely be thrown right back at him. That's true. I can see why he might avoid it. It's her story. He doesn't want to say it, but there is there is a proper PR way to address it respectfully that I think he needs to do without getting into the weeds of it or, you know, cl clapping back. Um you know, there there are ways he could do that from a PR crisis standpoint to make himself look better. And I think it would really help his cause because history, looking back on it all, Justin's in the wrong, in my opinion. Even if Britney cheated, which apparently she did, um, it's still, there was no place for him to go and take the shots he took at her, especially now that we know that he was doing crap too. And Steph, stay tuned. I, I don't know how much you want to get in the weeds on the tabloids of Justin, but there are some theories coming out now, Steph. I've had some very reliable sources come forward to me about Justin as a man, things he's done. Uh, I don't know. Do you want us to uncover? Do you want us to speculate and share the gossip that we're hearing? Some of this feels legit. Some of it feels like it's unproven. But if you'd like us to do a more of a deep dive into the Justin's past, uh, please let me know in a comment down below. While you're there, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like, hit the, all that stuff, and subscribe to Steph the Alternate. But yeah, Steph, I, look, I, I I do believe this is putting the family in chaos. I, like whether Jessica knows or not, it's not really our business. I would hope she would, right? I would hope she would as his yeah. partner and you know mother of his kids. Um, and uh, that for that sake, if she doesn't, well, then I definitely believe the quote because I can't imagine that's not something she's gonna be like. Why didn't you tell me this? Um, it's just, it's just a lot to it to take. I wish everybody the best, but I'm grateful Brittany's able to finally get this off her chest. I imagine it feels incredible and it's going to be a tough time. It's why she didn't narrate it. It's why she's, uh, it's unclear if she's going to do interviews because this is deeply personal. I believe it. And it's time for her to finally let it all out. She's held all this in. She never was one to kiss and tell Steph. That was Justin. So Justin's got to suck it up and deal it. Now karma is about to hit him right in the bye, bye, bye. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> On that bombshell, thank you so much for joining into today's video. Appreciate all your faces. And make sure you join us later on today uh, for Pop Culture Justice Live for more Jada and Will Smith news. Uh, with that being said, here are some videos on screen right now. You'll want to clickety-click, clickety-click. Clickety-click.